Uh, what, 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 what? We want to go to the space station. That's what we want to do. Circularization. I don't know what this... I don't know. I got I got I got to play with that at some point. Okay, uh let's just go to this old fashioned maneuver node thing. Go to that. And we need to get our separation down here. I always like to go until I see the two of them and then just back off a smidge and then just play with the timing. Looks like about 900 meter separation is the best I'm going to get. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. Uh, let's get to here. Let's turn down the thrust on this big ass engine. <laughs> so it doesn't need as much as that. Actually, we'll, you know what? I'm going to do this manually. I'm not going to use this. No, we're going to turn that off. We're going to do this manually. Let's get there. Let's put this on here. These things always look better that way. Let's put this back on. Play with that maneuver tool later. Well, you're, wel you're welcome there, Chezcat, who says that uh, my tutorials have been very useful to somebody coming just into KSP. That's the one, you know, if I were to... Sorry, I'm, I'm also taking in this U. <laughs> it's a pretty game, but um, it's one of the critiques I would have of KSP more than anything else is that it is not the most welcoming game in the world for people that really, and that's, let's face it, the vast majority of us who really don't know that much about space travel and how it works, it doesn't really teach you that much. Okay, I'm going to get ready to do this burn. Burn is a six second burn, but I'm going to start it at six seconds and then go to half throttle. So we'll do that, go to half throttle. And I'm watching, this is showing my maneuver in information down, or my encounter information down there. We should be seeing some numbers coming up. There we go. We'll reduce the throttle and cut it. Uh, I got 986. Let's see, use some RCS, see if I can tweak that a little smaller. Not use up the precious ignitions. Oh, that's about it. About 950. That's okay. Uh, turn this this way for the solar panel. And we're going to be at our station in about uh, 17 minutes. So what we should have, actually the station will be, come, wait, wait, here's the station. There it is above us. It's always sort of funny the way it works that you end up always going by the station and then uh, and then coming back to it again as you slow down as you reach your apoapsis. So the station will actually end up being behind us. There we go. Point ourselves retrograde relative to the station. Apparently KSP2 will have quite a lot of tutorial type information for those people that want it, that just teach you how this stuff all works, which I think is spectacularly useful. Let's push this retrograde vector. I mean, I know you can sit there and just get instructions, do this, do this, do this, do this, but if you don't understand why you're doing this, 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 or this, then when you get into situations that are kind of off the script, so to speak, you'll have no ability to kind of figure out what it is you need to do. So right now I'm just pushing this retrograde vector towards the target icon. And in the, whoops, I just noticed my encounter speed was actually going up. I do have to watch 
Oh, I'm down to zero ignitions. Okay, so, uh, shoot. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best choice of engine. Did I not upgrade this engine? I don't think I did. I probably should have. Oh, well, like I said, if I end up losing this engine, then we can take over with the nuclear engines. Let's get ourselves a little closer. Um, no, nope, this information's right. This engine's gonna fail on me any moment. Okay, lit that time, so I'm gonna try and reduce as much of my throttle as I can or sorry, reduce as much of my velocity as I can on this burn because I don't know if I have another ignition after this one. I'm happy that that one just happened. Okay, here we go. We're bringing it back to here. See if we can get it to the point where we can take over with just RCS. Oh, shoot. I'm pushing it the wrong way, and I don't want to turn the engine off. <laughs> okay, I have to stop. <laughs> oh, what did I do to myself here? We still coming closer to it? We are. I got a little... I, uh, what if I just RCS it? I don't want to use that engine anymore. It's just RCS towards our target. My encounter information's all messed up. We have to be coming towards it. Oh, that doesn't look unpromising. Thankfully, this thing has a lot of monopropellant aboard. I spent too much time looking at my speed and not enough time looking at my intersect distance and we are missing. I think I'm going to have to try. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try a another light. Light it again and if this engine fails, the engine fails. Ah, gone too far. Come back. No, it lit. Good enough. <laughs> We're heading towards it. Maybe a little quickly, but we are heading towards it. Control from here. Not one of my better rendezvous, but we're good. we'll get there. Yeah, I know I burned the wrong way. John was pointing pointing out before I was burn I was burning the wrong way when I had the RCS going. Um, I was watching the numbers here, but the numbers here were all messed up, and I shouldn't have been watching the numbers here. I should have been paying attention to the nav ball. My mistake. But. Now what I'm doing is using RCS. This time burning in the right direction, trying to push that prograde. I think I need to slow down too. I don't know how much. Uh, I'm still four minutes, five minutes away. How much monopropellant does this thing have? I think it has a ton. Yeah. Can't be completely hap haphazard with it. Oh boy. No, this way. Go 
this way and use the RCS to push backwards. Like that. Oh boy, I did this badly. <laughs> I'm in a situation where I'm chasing the station. It's dumb. You know what? I'm going to risk another ignition. I got the nuclear rocket underneath it. I shouldn't be so... Oh, it, it went... Yeah, the problem is, I know it's people are probably just saying, just push the prograde right onto the target icon, but the problem is when you're still a bit of a distance away, it's not quite as simple as that because of your curved path. Oh, there goes that engine. Okay, so we're going to stage. And we're going to go nuclear. <laughs> so much for deorbiting that thing. I mean, I could have if I got it to the station. Okay. If I got it to the station, I could have uh, got a Kerbal to fix the engine and we could have deorbited it. I guess we could still maybe do that, but right now let's just get this to the station. And hopefully the sun will come up soon too. All right, we got this now. I think I should have just lost that a long time ago because I used a lot of monorepel and being silly. Okay, let's slow down. We're spraying the station with irradiated propellant. Irradiated superheated heated propellant. <laughs> As we come in here. Okay, let's spin her around. Actually, let's look at the station. Where do I want to dock here? Where are we coming? There's us. So let's go for this docking port over here. Pop on back. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Set that as a target. I don't think I have my nav ball. Maybe I do. Oh, I got the engine pointed at it, you do <laughs> I thought the engine was the docking port. <laughs> Nothing like doing it in the dark. Ah, oh, the sun's coming up. There we go. My nav ball docking alignment indicator is working. That is a good thing. Okay, we are coming in pretty quick here, so. Let's 
Slow down. Okay, I can see the... There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we did get, I know it has the docking mode, but I, I don't think this has changed in 1.12, which, again, I've always considered more than a tad on the useless side. So I still got my docking alignment indicator mod here. And although that was pretty sloppy on our approach, I think we kind of have this now. Oh yeah, Jeb and Val, or it's not Jeb, it's Val and Bill are getting awfully excited. We're almost going straight towards the docking port. All right, we have recovered. <laughs> I do like my uh, new spaceship, though. I'll see if we can do a little bit of a redeem ourselves and see if we can not rescue ourselves some Kerbals. One thing I should shoot, I'm probably I should get ready to detach or deactivate some reaction wheels here. Sometimes let's just do this real quick. Down here somewhere there are reaction wheels, right? Somewhere here. Oh boy, that is not reaction wheels. Ah. Uh... Because when you get reaction wheels that are up, oh, there we go. Let's uh, toggle the torque on these. When you get reaction wheels that are perpendicular to each other, they sometimes get into a bit of a battle as to who gets control and you can get your station wobbling pretty badly. Okay. Uh, we got a notification that that do the, oh, we got uh, freeze dried bacon drools, but we didn't get our crew, our station, which I guess is sort of fair enough. Okay. Let's move. Valentina and Bill over to our new spaceship. They are probably in here, I guess. Well, Valentina is. Let's move her to there. And Bill is somewhere. They're clearly not. Transfer crew, is he in here? There he is. And I should check what kind of stuff do they have. They have their RCS packs, but they do not, I don't think they need parachutes. So let's get rid of their parachutes. There we go. All right, uh, let's go to the moon. We're done. That was all we needed to do. Undock. RCS back on, back away from the station. Turn on those reaction wheels again. I should have these reaction wheels on an action group, really. Toggle the torque, they are running. Okay, um, now what I'm curious about, now maybe this will do something for me. If I go to here, maneuver helper, I go to the moon. What does this mean? Cost 366 meters per second, Delta V at 231 kilometers PE. I, I have no idea what we're what we're talking about here. If I select, I want to go to the moon. Create. Oh, it's 823 meters per second. That seems reasonable. Now, if I create that maneuver. Oh, this is the time of the maneuver. It just created a maneuver for me. Did that really just do 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> I got a maneuver coming up. Why is this maneuver in four days? That makes no sense. Why would you do that in four days from now? Did I have something set wrong? Time. I don't want to be that far into the future. Okay, that's just a toggle of different... So that makes no sense that that burn should be that far in advance. Let's uh, go back a pile of orbits here. Like, why would you make that maneuver so far in the future? Why? Why? That makes no sense. There, now I got the maneuver coming up in 13 minutes, but of course now the rest of the timing is all messed up. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure that saved me any time. Maybe as I get more comfortable with, with this. All right, so we need to rescue Kerbals. So there are our Kerbals. Uh, we have, well, we have three of them all in a low orbit, and they do look like they are all more or less going in the same direction. Pete and Joe O and Philippe. Uh, and then it really looks like we got Legee going in a retrograde orbit the other way around, doesn't it? It sure as heck looks like uh, that getting from these guys to this one might be a tad tricky. So <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll definitely pick up these three as long as they're all going around in the same direction, which I think they are. And then we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate whether we can do that one. But in the meantime, let's uh, tweak this a little bit. Bring this closer in. And we can reduce the burn here a bit. That feels pretty good. So we'll come in. It does look like they're going around, at least some of them are going around in a prograde direction. Kind of hard to tell because their orbits are all overlapped, but I'm assuming they're all going around the same way. We'll find out. We'll find out one way or the other. Okay, we got this burn coming up in 20 minutes. So let's start time warping towards that burn. Hopefully we'll be a nice, good, healthy distance away from the station. Okay, I'm going to stop about five minutes early and we're going to put ourselves on the maneuver and what I'm just going to make sure of is that we will be burning away from the station. We most certainly will. Okay, so that's good. Don't need RCS anymore. Let's go. All right, and we'll get out our KOS. Oh, which one is us? This one. Yeah, delete and close. That's a new alarm clock alarm. <laughs> All right, and we will run our maneuver executor. And it will get itself all set. Now this is a this is a full thrust, right? Yep, this is going to be a almost three minute burn. Because I don't have, I think the thrust to weight ratio is around 0.45 or 0.46 or something like that. So this isn't exactly uh, a huge G puller, but it is an efficient one. 832 is, I, I got it, 832 is really low for a transfer to moon. I got it down to 821. But we are leaving from a 120 kilometer orbit. So that's why we're in a little bit of a higher orbit. So we have a little bit more energy. Um, so that's that's why we're, uh, we're getting, it's, it feels a little cheaper, but we're leaving from a pretty high orbit. And if you look, look at the nice little textures put in here, the exhaust plumes. I think that's restock working its magic. Okay, uh, what we'll do, 
We'll do a little bit of physics time. Cannot time, or no, alt period. There we go. Do a little bit of physics time warping. Try and get this to speed up a bit. Run it at two times speed. Picking up Kerbals. Saying goodbye to the station. We'll be back, hopefully. And since this is nicely shielded, we should have a nice radiation protection. We shouldn't get any more irradiated Kerbals like we did with uh, Bob and Michael. We're glowing just a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping to make a lot of use of this thing. Take it all around. Maybe we'll stick it out into orbit about the sun, too. Who knows? A little bit. Okay, let's... Uh, whoops. Reduce that. So I've reduced the time warp, I think. And... Yeah. Let's see how the maneuver finishes off here. Here we go. And how are we going to do? How close are we going to get? A little bit early. That's okay. Let's get rid of the maneuver. We'll just give a little, some RCS, finish this off. Oh, I could have probably fired that engine a bit. Yep. Next time I'll use the engine for this. All right, there we go. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. This engine has a ton of ignitions though, right? 41 ignitions plus we can use um, Bob to, or Bill to resurface this engine. Um, we just entered into a radiation belt. We're into the lower radiation belt. And for people that have not seen this before, how do we get this? Oh my gosh, I've forgotten. Okay. I've momentarily forgotten, how do you get back to just your vessel? <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, but if we take a look at the radiation here, I just noticed this when I was doing some editing. The outside radiation is 1.7 rads per hour and climbing. It's almost a 2 already. But inside, it is 0.2 and climbing rads per hour. It's 1 tenth. So that's what the shielding's doing for us. So hopefully... Uh, Val and Bill feels a little bit more comfortable. Okay, we'll align this for the solar panels and then we will just get out there. Now I should be able to just do an alarm. How do you add an alarm? Oh wait, there's an alarm button. I still have the regular alarm clock by the way, but I'm going to try and learn the new alarm clock. There's the new alarm clock button. Uh, let's create an alarm. For, oh, it's right over all of this stuff. That's not cool. For the... I can't read this. SOI change. Add an alarm. So we got an SOI change coming up in 4 hours and 47 minutes. I'm, ass I'm assuming that that's correct. Maybe I should check that. help an old man with how you get back to your particular spacecraft on the let's just do this way nope that doesn't work Insert. nope <laughs> I have totally forgotten okay let's just 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 warp out there say goodbye to Kerbin I totally forgot what's the button that when you're in map view gets you back onto your your home your uh, back to your vessel so the focus is on your vessel the, the little, yes, that's right. Is that it? Okay, sorry, I'm seeing that little apostrophe button. It's time warp, come on. The tilde, oh, that's right, thank you. I got it, oh, we just saw a little eclipse go across Kerbin there, that's cool. Uh, where are we, we're just about at the SOI change. Yeah, that just slipped my brain. That's what happens as you get old. <laughs> How are they at 32% radiation? How? 
I don't understand that. I just noticed, uh... I, I... Do I have this also configured? Okay, I gotta... I'm not getting warnings for storms. There must be something in the Kerbalism settings that are not giving me storm warnings. How did they... I'm getting... Okay, whatever. We're, we're here now. 